God. What is your strategy for keeping connection tight and not letting things get routine? It, it's, uh, I'm going to take this really quick, baby. Take like, it, baby. Don't get fucking routine, man. And have like, fun. if you mix up your workouts and you mix up your diet, mix up your sex. Like, listen, you and I, I think you and I are new in, in the marriage game, right? Mm -hmm. But you and I have both been in relationships that I think I can speak to this and it got routine. And the reason it got routine is because I wasn't doing anything fucking new. The reason it got quote unquote mundane is because I wasn't fucking out there like learning new shit and doing new shit. And candidly, I didn't have balls enough to be able to like bring that safely to my wife to be able to have those conversations. And so shit got boring. Like you and I have made, I, I think our past and our experience of being in that re reality yeah. is what drives us to be frisky as fuck always doing new shit, always trying new shit, talking about new shit, and, and Pulling just Pulling over doing on the it. highway. I was literally, I swear no. to God, <laughs> I swear on my children's life, I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> we literally were at the ranch the other day, and we were joking on the way home. She's like, do you remember this exit? And I was like, yeah, that's where I fucked you. We were driving home one day from someplace, I forget where. I she was horny, I was house. horny. <laughs> she was like, yo, fuck me. And then we literally pulled over on the side of the freeway. We fucked in the, on the side of the freeway. and. That was it. We got back in and we fucking drove home. That was that was what it is. It's great. You know, under the stars. Fact. Right off the side of the fucking freeway outside of Park City. Done and done. We'll, I, we'll actually take a picture of the exit and you guys will rename that exit after us. And feel free to have sex on the side of the freeway. It's great in summertime. Lots of stars are out. Sweet Lord. Listen, listen, man. Like. If I, I want, let, let's talk mm. practical though, because there's a lot of people that are probably listening to this right now. They're like, "Yeah, that's cool. You guys are fucking new." And da, 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 da. maybe you've been married five years, eight years, ten years, twelve years. Maybe you have sex the same way. Maybe you have the same conversations. Maybe you go to the same restaurant every single night. You gotta understand something, man. Like, ladies, let me speak to the ladies, and then I'm gonna speak to the men on this. Ladies, there is nothing more exciting to a man than when a woman does something new. Real talk. Like, we are little children sometimes. We're emotionally unstable sometimes. We're emotionally insecure sometimes. Your man walks in the door one day on your normal routine day, and you're standing there butt-ass naked with a glass of whiskey or a freaking dildo in your hand. Some <laughs> wild shit's going to go down. Let's call it what it really is. There isn't a man on the planet that's not going to be like, babe, uh, I had a long fucking day. I don't want any of that shit. He's going to – it's going to change the game, right? Now, like, fellas, let's be serious for a second. I would be willing to bet that 99.9% .9 of y'all's wives, women, girlfriends, whatever, you go to the sex store, you come home with some toys, some gizmos, some gadgets, whatever, whatever, she's going to fucking play ball, bro. Like, she's going to play ball. You take her to a different restaurant, you try a different drink, you do some shit different, you pop open some new toys, some new this, some new that, you all of a sudden freaking, you've been fucking the same way for the last 10 years, throw her down on the counter and start doing her on the counter. I promise you, your woman is going to play ball with you. I promise you. Baby, can I, anything you want to say to this? Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong at all. Like, you could be married for 10 years and be in the same rut. The only way to get out of the fucking rut is to do something different. The yeah. definition of insanity is banging your head against the wall over and over and over again trying to get a different result. And if your partner is showing up like this, if they're trying, like, don't shut them down. No. Like, even if it's inconvenient for you or you haven't showered or you're a blah, blah, blah. The millions of reasons like we will dodge mm -hmm. um, that an approach. Right. Don't yeah. do it. Just go with it. Yeah. 100 percent. Amen. Preach.